Yeah, hey, uh, I was looking to get like 12 unicorn frappuccinos made. All right, we'll see if we can get a head start in those. Okay, we are on our way. Your total is $60.40. That's my most expensive Starbucks trip ever. So check out how Hev is doing this. Holding two right here, and then one between my legs down there. <laughs> it was, we had a little bumpy ride. What's up, Mugnut Upset Against Most Slip? Today, we've got the Galaxy S8, and we've got the new Unicorn Frappuccino. We're gonna find out if this Unicorn Frappuccino can protect the Galaxy S8, which is waterproof, from a 100 foot drop, which we're gonna take up in this drone. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. All right, so we've got 12 of these unicorn frappuccinos. We've got two venti's, that's gonna be for the Galaxy S8, and I have two in case I mess up with one of them. Uh, and then 10 grandes. We're gonna be drop testing 10 of these bad boys from the drone. That video will be on my vlog channel. We're gonna be filming everything in super slow motion using the Phantom V1611 and Darren's Phantom Miro 320S. Darren's from Beyond Slow Motion. Let's get on with the drop test. A little dangerous with these drinks underneath. Let's take a look at this. Whoa! -ha -ha. All right, now this is the silver Galaxy S8. All right, so it's gonna take the wrapping off. Oh, I love that sound. It's so subtle, but it's just, it's so satisfying. Man, you gotta love the lines on this phone. It looks really good. And you also have to love the fact that there's minimal bezels as well. Pretty sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this in the Frappuccino, throw it up in the drone, take it for a flyby drop off. Not flyby, but yeah, drop down. But let's just get going. Ah, my legs are so sleep. This is just gonna be so satisfying. I've tasted this before and I'm not really that big of a fan, honestly, of this flavor. In she goes. Do, 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 do. I'm not sure if it's gonna stand up. So I got the water tight lid that we could put on this bad boy. Oh, that's so sour. The powder stuff, I had him put a little extra powder stuff, and it's still sour. Darren, I need your help. All right. We're gonna put a lid on there, so. Okay, that's good, that you, you did too much. So, we just drove all the way across town, because I forgot this little guy in my Airstream. They were closing at six, we had, like, they had to stay late. We were just so, oh, it was a crazy crisis, but we got it. The Galaxy S8 is going through a waterproofing test right now because it's been in, in submerged in the unicorn for about an hour and a half now. Okay, so we're gonna pull out this Galaxy S8 and just see if it's still turning on. Ooh, it's cold. Oh, there you go. You can still totally see it, that it's still working. Which is a to be expected, admittedly. Okay, here we go. We're ready to drop test it. We're gonna throw it in the drone, take it on up. We're gonna be turning it sideways right now. So it's gonna leak out probably just a little bit. That dust cloud is like, whoa! My controller is just covered in dust. Look at the iPad. <laughs> Look at this. All right, let's take a look at the Phantom Clip. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, it's a little bent in already from the wind. Kaboom! Hits the bottom. Skabam! What are these noises I'm making? We got chunks of the bottle actually breaking everywhere. I didn't think the bottle would come apart like that. And of course, we have the Frappuccino just vaporizing. We just have a mist that's left of that Frappuccino. The unicorn is no more. But is the Galaxy S8 okay? Let's go check and find out. Oh, oh man, it's covered in dirt. It's covered in Frappuccino. Oh, this is... This is kind of gross. <gasps> the screen is not shattered. What? Is it still responsive? Yes, it is. What? Oh, that is so sick. Way to go, Samsung. This thing looks pretty much brand new. Or maybe way to go, Unicorn Frappuccino, if you know what I mean. I'm not going to lie. That's insane. 
I was I, not expecting this thing to survive. I mean, I, if it isn't a glass back. I mean, that, that we, right we, now, we basically let that frappuccino melt. So that was just a little bit of water in a cup. Almost in a cup. That's impressive as I don't even I don't even know. That's wow. Sweet. Well, now you know. If you ever need to send a Galaxy S8 from 100 feet to a friend down below, just slap it in a Starbucks cup and toss it down. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. I think one of the main things that helped protect it is because in the uh, in the Starbucks cup, this wasn't touching all the way to the bottom. It had like about an inch and a half on the bottom where it's too wide to go all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when it the bottom of the Starbucks cup hit, it was almost like a little like absorption layer as it like pushed down on the cup. Mm. And it didn't really go anywhere. It only moved about a foot from the impact site. So, but man, this Galaxy S8 lives to die another day. So if you want to check out my journey today with getting all this set up and getting those Frappuccinos and getting that cord and cross town and coming back after like an hour and a half of driving through Russia, if you just want to see my adventure and you want to see 10 of those fall from the sky, link down below, annotation at the end. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Brandon and Darren out. Woo!